Hey, what's going on guys? How was your holidays? Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas for you guys that celebrate Christmas. Happy New Year's coming up for everyone. <laughs> We're gonna wait for a few people to file and make sure you hit that share button. Get the word out there so we can join up and have a nice, nice little conversation today. Yo, 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 what's going on? Hopefully I don't embarrass myself here on the bike while I'm talking to you guys. But today's periscope, or this morning's periscope, <laughs> that's commitment. Yeah, well, I had a little bit too much to eat over the last few days. Had a big uh, Christmas celebration with both sides of the family and kind of kind of fed my face more than I should have. So I'm up weight. I did not keep my goal of keeping the winter weight off. So I've got to get back to work and trim it down and make room for New Year's. But uh, appreciate it. But I want the title today's Periscope. Um, walking away from the trade and it's not really going to be like the title sounds not so much walking away as in giving up on the trade but really talking about once you're once you're involved in a trade uh, let me crank this up a little bit I want to work a little sweat on here once you're in the trade all the hard work is done and I got this idea of watching a lot of a lot of sports over the weekend uh, boxing day obviously for you guys overseas we had uh, the NFL yesterday and lots of basketball on Christmas. And I was watching, a, I can't remember the particular game, but I was watching the game and the coach made a decision that I guess the fans did not like. And the fans started booing him. And one of the announcers said, you know, um, you know, hey, do you think the coach should be listening to the fans? And he gave a nice little quote. He said, you know what they say? If you listen to the fans, you'll end up sitting next to them. Meaning that once a coach is on the field of play, they have a game plan set up already. They've game planned the entire week, maybe a month before, and set up a specific strategy and plan of attack, rules of engagement, as we call it in the trading world, on how to attack the particular situation. And one of the worst things that a trader could do is second guess themselves, especially when someone else tells them otherwise. They gotta stick to the plan. And it's the same thing with trading. I got an email yesterday, or a couple days ago, from a former 12 week transformation client. And I guess not a, not a former client, once a client, always a client, but a client that was done his coursework, was checking up during the holiday and just wanted to give me uh, an idea of where's he at, where he was at. And he said, Akil, um, the year started off well, but it got a little bit worse at the end. And I've been doing some trading evaluation, which is a, a big positive. You always want to review your trading, uh, your week, your month, your year and see where you're, uh, where you're messing up at, where you could improve. And he said, one thing I noticed is that I was executing the right trades, but I wasn't holding them long enough. Um, he noticed that he was exiting the positions early due to emotions, fear, greed, you know, the normal stuff that you guys have, and, and myself too, have experienced. And when reviewing his trading strategy, he said that if he just would've held those trades a little bit longer, it would've turned his trading year around. Now he didn't have a bad year, I think it was a break even year, but he could have ended, he could have ended profitable. And you guys gotta remember, all of the hard work in trading is done before you ever push that buy or sell button. Does that make sense to you guys? Give me a yes if that makes sense. Woo, I'm struggling here. Yeah, all of the hard work is done before you ever push that button. We talk a lot about back testing. We talk a lot about the IPDE process. Identify, predict, decide, execute. Top down analysis, all the stuff you see me do on YouTube, all the stuff you see me do in a live room, that is all preparation for the trade. We wanna be 100% 100% convinced before we ever push that button that this is a trade we wanna be in. Let me ask you guys this. What are three things we wanna know before we ever enter a trade. How many of you guys know that? Again, what are the three things we wanna know before ever entering a trade?
yeah, we want to know entries, stops, and targets. Entries, stops, and targets. We want to know where we're getting involved. We want to know where we're exiting if the, if the trade doesn't go our way. And we want to know where are we getting out if the trade does go our way. And again, that's all part of that preparation process. We should know all of that before we ever execute that trade. Therefore, once we're in the trade, there's only one thing to do. Sit back and let the trade play out. Now for certain trades, uh, for more structure-based trades, um, there are some advanced uh, kind of risk management deals like trailing stops and stuff like that. But in a general sense, once we're in the trade, our job is done. Our job is done aside from a little bit of management. We know where we're exiting at uh, for targets. We know where we're getting out for stops. There's no need to cut it short. So remember guys, all of that hard work you do, all of the preparation, that's the real bulk of executing trades. The rest of it is just trading psychology. How tough are you? Can you watch it go into the negative and stick with it? Can you watch it go 10 pips before your targets and not be greedy and take it out. That's all up here, that's all trading psychology. My advice, if you find yourself, and let me ask you guys this, how many of you guys find yourself doing that? Do you guys get a little bit emotional when you're almost stopped out or almost towards targets? Guilty, 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 give me some hearts if that's you. Woo. all the time yeah here's a little trick right it's a special one million dollar secret that I'm gonna tell you on how to avoid that that mental drain walk away <laughs> walk away after you execute the trades after you put your stop loss on after you put your your target limits on walk away grab a drink go for a bike ride Get your mind out of that trade. The worst thing you can do is sit there and stare at it. You sit there and stare at it, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Trust me. You sit there and stare at it, you're gonna drive yourself crazy at every single move. You're gonna be pulling your hair out, you're gonna be stressed out, and just nothing good can come from it. If you're gonna be stressed out, if you're gonna put in a lot of work, do all of that prior to taking the trade, before you take it, before you take it. And I'll tell you what, if you do that prep the right way, if you do that prep the right way, you'll be 100% convinced that it's a trade that you should be in. That's why we use that if-then thought process. No gray area. If the market does this, then I do that. If the market moves this way, then I trail targets or stops that way. It takes the emotions out of it for the most part. They're still gonna be there, but it's gonna make life a lot easier for you. I saw someone type and say, yeah, I use uh, alerts on my phone. Yeah, you know, set up alerts on your phone, on your trading platform, have it give you a little ping whenever uh, price is getting close to your targets. I got a question the other day, worried about, hey, Akil, what if, uh, what if, what if uh, price, what if it's like a, a news event and price spikes up, hits your, uh, hits your targets, um, or spikes down, hits your stops, and then spikes up, hits your targets, and gets you filled the other way. What can I do then? Isn't that something I should be worried about? No. Use an OCO order. One cancels the other. That means as soon as that target is hit, your stop will be canceled. Or as soon as your stop is hit, that target will be canceled. Whichever order is hit first, all of the other orders linked to it, all of the other orders linked to it will be canceled as well. Smoke a joint and relax, man. I can't relax, man, I'm too focused. I'm too focused. I don't need drugs, man. This is my natural high, living life, trying to win each day. Getting in the weight room early in the morning, working out, burning some calories. Getting home, getting after some charts, getting better for next year. I'm trying to kill next year, man. You don't understand, we made a killing this year, but guess what? 2015 trading is over. Weed ain't no drug. Weed is a drug. I'm not against it. My family's Jamaican, so you know how that goes. <laughs> it's natural from the earth. I just don't particularly partake, but I'm not saying anything wrong with weed. I'm just so naturally high on trying to stay focused and win each day already that I don't need it. I don't want to mellow out, man. I want to stay pumped. I want to stay pumped, man. This is what keeps me waking up every day. 
I don't know, I don't know how I used to do it, man. I don't, I don't know how I can wake up with no purpose. I don't know how I can wake up with no purpose. I wake up fired up each and every day. I ask my wife, I hop out of bed. I hop out of bed. She, she's the type that wakes up like a zombie and you know, kind of walks around for like an hour. I'm right up there getting to work. I love it. I love it. So that's the Periscope for today, guys. As always, hey, share this thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna decide to put it on YouTube or not. You guys let me know if it's good. I'll put it on YouTube. That way it doesn't expire in 24 hours. Um, but share it, like it, give it to a trading friend, guys. Do your part, help each other out. Don't just hog this information for yourself. Share it with another struggling trader. Help them out as well. Become that mentor in your own little role. Um, trust me, everything counts. Before I was, I'm not famous, but before I was known, I had a trading blog where I essentially told people how much I sucked every day. I said, hey guys, Kill Stokes here. Today, I took a trade in the Euro dollar. I got emotional. I st took myself out for 10 pips of profit. Market went on for 50, with my, which, which was uh, my original target. Man, I suck. And people loved it. They're like, man, I know you're not trying to, but you're inspiring me just by being honest, just by telling it how it is, just by, you know, relating to many of the struggles that other traders are going through. So even if you think you're not doing a part, you are, guys. Misery loves company. We're all in this game together. We're all trying to succeed together. Let's help each other up that mountain, man. Ah, wagwan. All right, guys, I'll see you. Until next time, play to trade, trade your plan. Feeling the burn. I'll see you guys.